Hello and welcome to another gauge demo from FIPGages.com. So today I'm going to show you my global variables settings gauge. It's free to download from my homepage. There's a link that takes you to the free and demo gauges and uh, feel free to download it. So basically the S buttons aren't really used. The S1 button will just bring up the version and information page. Pressing it again will remove it. The right dial will allow you to select the function that you wish to change and the left dial will actually toggle the functions. So what functions do we have? So we've got the panel lighting. You can set this to on and off. Previously, the panel lighting was turned on automatically and it wasn't always desired. So I've now made this optional and you can turn the panel lights on or off. Now, if you do want the panel lights to come on and off when you press your panel light switch, then you can program the variable into your switch and toggle the ball value on and off and the variable should be listed shortly in the manual for the gauge. The next option is the colors. Now my general aviation gauges come with four optional colors and this will enable you to select which color variant that you'd like to have as well. The next option is the off voltage. This is the global minimum voltage that is required to power the gauges so if your aircraft voltage drops below this value that you set then all your panels are going to go out um, on general aviation gauges it just means the electrical components will switch off the panels won't actually just completely disappear because that's not very realistic for general aviation gauges um, and a recent change i made only this week was that you can now select between the main bus or avionics bus for the off voltage comparison so you can compare the um, aircraft voltage against the minimum global voltage, but you can decide whether it's the main bus or the avionics bus that you're checking. So if you select the avionics bus and turn off the avionics, then obviously the gauges are going to go out. Um, if you've got avionics set and you turn off the mains power, then it's still going to go out. Now, <clears throat> if you set this to main, and then turn off the avionics then the gauges won't turn off they will only turn off if you lose full power to um, to the aircraft um, or at least if the power drops below the, the voltage that you've set here now you can disable this function by reducing the voltage down to zero and it will disable that function but i usually have it at two or three volts below the normal aircraft voltage and then when the voltage drops below that, you'll know there's a problem because things will start switching off. Okay, so we also have an option to turn the reflections on and off. Um, some gauges have um, glass transparent reflections and you can turn those on and off globally. The next option is the jet gauges have optional color backgrounds, black or blue, and you can toggle between the black or blue. And last but not least, is the aircraft compatibility mode and you can toggle that between BMDG and simulator modes. Now the A2A mode is currently grayed out because the A2A mode is currently fully automatic and will be active when sim is active. Um, I put it on the gauge for a future expansion if, for instance, I come across something that needs a manual switch to activate, I'm going to have that um, option available so that we can switch on the A to A mode but currently I'm able to dynamically select variables between SIM and A to A without having to manually change the modes unlike PMTG which I have to provide a switch so that you turn on that functionality to get that to work okay so more functions may become available the gauge will be updated regularly as and when I get new global variables um, and feel free to download it as and when the version is updated. I hope you find the gauge useful. Um, it's the only way you can currently set the avionics and main bus. So that none of the gauges enable you to set that at the moment. So you will need this gauge if you want to change it between avionics and main. I think the default is main. So if you want to, your gauge just to turn off when the avionics falls below your off voltage, then you can come into this gauge and make the change there and its profile 
saved so you can have it different on one profile to another you can have avionics for one style of aircraft and main for another style of aircraft it's all done on profiles as are the colors the panel lights reflections everything is done in your profile so when you set these values you're doing it globally for all your gauges but within that profile i hope you found this demo useful and i hope you um, find the gauge useful feel free to download it um, if you haven't subscribed please do so and come back and check out more of our other videos thanks for watching Thank you.